Okay, so when we're trying to find the median of a data set, uh, median is referring to the middle number. So in order to find the, the median, um, the best way to do it here is really just to list your orders, uh, excuse me, to list your numbers from least to greatest in order. Um, so it looks like the smallest number I have here is 43. Um, so it's good to kind of devise a plan. Um, I'm going to cross through this number when I write it. So there's 43. Um, my next number here looks to be 45, and I do have another one of those, so we'll write two 45s. Even if you have more than one, you still have to write it as many times as you see it. So there's a 47. Um, so here's a 51. Here's a 53. Here's a... Uh, oh, now I see that I had a 49. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, kind of squeeze that in here. 49 right in there. So it's okay if you know, if you miss one, just make sure you get it in the right spot. Uh, next is 55, and finally we have 61. Okay, so that should cover them all. Um, now what we do is, again, we're finding the middle number. Um, so 43 and 61, we cross those off. 45 and 55, we cross those off. 45 and 53, we cross those off. And 47 and 51. Well, it looks like the number that we forgot, we kind of stuck up in the air. That actually ended up being our median, so it kind of worked out. Um, but again, you're working to that middle number. Now, if we would have forgot that number and we decided to put it over here, this wouldn't have worked. So we, we have to get the numbers in order. Um, so 49 would be the median or the middle number of this data set. Okay. So again, the very next one, it again, asks what is the median of, of the data set here. So let me slide this down, number three. Um, so what is the median? So again, median refers to middle number. Um, I'm going to show you maybe another way you can do this. Um, it, it's kind of nice. It, it, when I do it this way, I never usually miss a number because I can just go in order, whereas, uh, you know, you saw the last time I did miss that number um, on accident. Actually, I'm looking at these numbers, and they actually look like they are in order. So they're kind of doing half the work for me. So here, I'm just going to cross off the ends. I'll show you the other way I was talking about with uh, with maybe another set of numbers. So just crossing out the ends here, a low one and a high one, a low one and a high one. Now I have two numbers left. So what I need to do is I actually need to add these two together and then divide by two because I'm actually going to find a mean. Think about how we found the mean. Um, we add up all the data and divide by how many there are. Well, that's what we're doing here. So we have to do 46 plus 48, and then we divide by 2 because there are two of them. So uh, 40 plus 40 is 80, and 6 and 8 make um, 14. So we're going to have 94 divided by 2, and that actually equals uh, 47. Okay, another way you can see that is, you know, 46 and 48, well, what's right between them is 47. So 47 here is the median so if you have an even number of data like we did here, okay, if we count them, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's an even number of data. You're going to end up with 2 in the middle. Whereas our problem from before, if we count, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There was an odd number, so we actually ended up with 1 right in the middle. Um, so you know, you can always kind of count them before you start and kind of get an idea of what's going on uh, before you get going. Now, I see that this problem here is actually asking for the range, but um, this this will work for me to show you that other way. Um, in order to find the median, so we're not going to find the range, we're going to find the median. Okay. Um, you can actually use something that's called a stem and leaf plot. Uh, so this says 43, so stem and leaf, so these are my stems, so I'm going to put a 4 right here and a 43. Well, I'm going to give room for like a, a 0, 1, and a 2, so I'm going to put a 3 right out here. Okay, so I just use that one, 34, so I can put a 3 and I can throw a 4 right there. All right, so it's 45, so I've got to leave room for my 4, so I can put a 5 right there. 40, so there's my 0. 38, so we can stick that out here somewhere. Uh, 37, we'll put that right in front of the 8. You do still have to put the numbers in order, so that's why I'm giving myself plenty of room to get all these numbers in here. 
uh, 35, so that's going to fit right in here. So I still have room for 6 if we end up getting one. Uh, 46, so that's out here. And 37, so I do have a second 7 that needs to go in there. Okay. So now my numbers are actually in order because uh, if you read it, it says 34, 35, 37, 37, 38. And that was a little bit easier for me because I was just able to start at one end and go all the way to the other. I didn't have to bounce around and possibly miss one. Now, it becomes just a little bit trickier when you're trying to cross them off. Remember, these numbers here, 34 is obviously your smaller number, and 46 is your biggest. So 46 and 34 get crossed off at the same time. So I went high and low. Now I'll go high and low. I'll go high and low. Uh, I'll do the high and low, and this 8 right here is actually 38, so 38 is my median, okay? So that's just kind of an example here of another way to do that. I actually prefer using this stem and leaf plot because, again, I can just go from left to right with my numbers and plug them all in. You do have to make sure you give yourself room to fit them in there, um, but I do like being able to go left to right, and, uh, you know, if you remember from before when I, when I actually missed that 49, that could actually cause you problems there and, and cause you to get a problem wrong. So um, anyways, in a nutshell, that's how we find median. Median is the middle number, um, and that's it.